All right, we are honored to have with us one of the true leaders of the Minnesota Wild. Matt Cook joins us before he heads out on the Wild Road Tour this week. That's going to be pretty entertaining for you. But first, I know you just told me moments ago you didn't watch the Stanley Cup after you guys were out. But the way it ended for this club and what transpired afterwards, how close do you think this team really was? It was there for the taking, wasn't it? Well, I mean, we really felt like, you know, when we were playing against Chicago, we went through a tough series in, in Colorado, but... Chicago series, we felt like uh, for the majority of games we carried the play, and uh, you know even though we lost, you know the series the way we did, right. we, it was a lot closer than the series numbers and, and the way it ended. So uh, to see what Chicago did with LA and then how LA finished in the finals, um, I, I think that speaks volume to the strength of the Western Conference, but also uh, to the strength of our hockey club. All right, let's talk about this team. They made huge strides this season, advancing to the second round. Uh, when did you realize that this team had a chance to really do something special? Well, I believed it last July when I signed here. I mean, obviously, um, there was other places and other opportunities, but, you know, Minnesota was intriguing for me. It was a lot like where I was coming from, but, it, you know, it was going in the right direction. So uh, that's when I believed it. Obviously, we went through some ups and downs, but I, I think the biggest part was, uh, you know, our great month. Uh, right. And we, we were having a great month in December. It was, it was awesome, and, and I think that that's when we started to have that good feeling. All right. Now, this season, you passed 1,000 games in the National Hockey League. Only 286 other players that looked it up achieved that milestone. You've survived and thrived 14 years. How have you been able to be such a success in this league? Uh, you know, I, I think it's just the resilience to, to want to be uh, a guy that contributes night in and night out. And, I think that that's been the strength for me is that even whether I was playing on a, on a fourth line or penalty killing or getting an opportunity to play up on a second line or a first line, you know, just wanting to be able to go out and contribute and I didn't and I out and be a consistent professional and uh, hopefully that's something that you said about me. It's pretty amazing what you've done. Now you signed here as a wild and I'm assuming you had plenty of options, but you elected to come here and Zach and Ryan came here, Pominville had a chance to walk away. Why is this team all of a sudden seeming like a place players want to go? Because it didn't seem that way in the past to us on the outside. Yeah, well, obviously ownership and management made a statement when they went out and signed Ryan and Zach, and uh, that instantly propelled this team to have two great leaders that moving forward were going to be cornerstones for this hockey club. And they've done not, the management and ownership's done nothing but go out and get other guys that are, are going to support those two and help those two to become a, a great team. And, you know, I think that that was intriguing for me that there was a, a dynamic missing that I felt like I could bring to this hockey club. And, uh, you know, there wasn't a lot of experience, especially in the playoffs with this team right. before I got here. And um, that was something that, that I could play on as well. The last thing I want to ask you before we take the break, your style of play, I mean, it seems like you push your teammates on the ice. It's not only yourself you motivate, but even you kind of, help your teammates along as well. We have some footage from practice and just the kind of things that you do on the ice. You're barking right away at people. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously with Wilson, uh, just having some fun. I, I think that uh, to really be good and excel at this game, you got to have fun. And um, I try to make it light, although during games it's time to be serious, but there's times when you got to go out and have fun and be light. And uh, we got a great group of guys that love to joke around. And, uh, <laughs> I always look like the initiator, but I'm, I'm not, that's for sure. So. <laughs> you never cause any trouble, exactly. <laughs>